y'all welcome back to bedtime noir tonight i'm sharing with you a book that i've been meaning to read for some time and i'm so glad i did it's murder in grease paint by whiskey leavens whiskey leavens is a west coast mystery writer and i if, i love uh noir fiction and film noir and i usually like my noir pretty classic and straight up um but this does that in that it is a real detective story it is a real murder mystery but one of the great things about noir is that it can blend with other genres and you can kind of try on different styles and um things with it incorporating those noir elements to to make it fresh and so that's what whiskey leavens does with murder in grease paint um it's got the clown element to it and it does have lots of comedy and I love what I love about it the most I think is that it doesn't take itself too seriously but it takes what it's doing seriously as far as the um, the murder mystery aspect and the detective story so I love that about it so I'm going to share with you a short um, a short piece uh, my little dog wants to get in my lap once so this is Mitzi Mitzi's going to sit here while I read <clears throat> from Murder in Grease Paint by Whiskey Leavens. I took out my notepad. Well, as you're already aware, one of your students was killed last night. Rob Safridis, a.k.a. Mr. Rub-a-Dub-Dub, -Dub, I started. Killed detective? As in homicide? Are you sure? I heard he jumped from his dorm window. Suicide. She cute frowned to indicate the senselessness of such an act. Fair enough. We'll wait for the coroner to make an official ruling, but I'm fairly sure he was defenestrated. I'd had that word locked and loaded in my back pocket since my college days. Waited patiently for 23 years as a cop to throw it out, casually, in the line of duty. Nice, detective, nice. You're probably one of those who finished the Sunday crossword in 10 minutes. I shrugged in a way to let her know she was not wrong. While we wait for confirmation one way or the other, I still need to get some of the routine questioning out of the way. Now, Professor Wiggles, how well did you know Mr. Sofritas? I knew Mr. rub dub, -dub fairly well. He was a senior, and we're not that big of a school. Anyone who makes it all the way through is going to be known to faculty and staff. He distinguished himself in a couple of my classes. He was in my advanced clown car class this term. Last spring, during the junior recital, he completely reimagined the diving into a cup of water bit. He was talented, traditional, yet innovative, limitless potential. But Rob Safridis? I didn't know him very well at all. And by the way, you can call me Corinne. My name is Corinne D'Ambrosia. I'm Wiggles when I'm in clown. As you can see, I'm no longer in clown. At least not from the waist up, and that's what counts. She moved her bare shoulders back and forth lazily to emphasize her point. Sorry, I'm smart enough to know words like defenestrate, but not smart enough to know much about basic clown conventions. So, Miss D'Ambrosia, Corinne, please. Corinne, I smiled. Do you know if Rob had any enemies, maybe fellow clowns he'd had a dispute with? She looked up, putting on a thinking show. She bobbed her right foot up and down a bit, her feet still clad in Wiggles' red Doc Martens with yellow highlights. No one jumps to mind. I heard he was generating interest from some big shows. Would that sort of thing arouse jealousy among classmates? Maybe, I suppose. It's true he was getting some big offers from touring circuses, Vegas shows, <clears throat> even some elite troops. But we're one of the nation's elite clown colleges. Many of our top students get headhunted. That would be like somebody at the UC across town getting upset because somebody got an offer from Google while they only got an offer from Apple. Or one gets into Harvard for grad school while the other has to settle for Stanford. It's nothing any normal person would get violent over. How about romantic entanglements? A girlfriend? A boyfriend? Some of each? No idea. But I appreciate the progressive nature of your questioning. I try to stay current, I said. When did you last see Mr. rub dub, -dub? Last time he was in clown car, I suppose, she paused, remembering. He's in the Monday, Wednesday, Friday section, so that would have been last Friday. I'm guessing he won't be attending this afternoon's class. She chuckled a little. 
Sorry, Detective. Wiggles is all sunshine and slapstick, but my humor runs a bit darker. No problem. I've been accused of as much. Last question for now. Who would you suggest I speak to who might know a bit more about both Mr. rub dub dub and Rob Safridis? Juniors and seniors have an official faculty advisor, usually someone in their major and concentration. I really an American traditional like Mr. rub dub dub but I tend to advise August like myself. Well, I'm kind of hybrid August. He was more of a straight white face. I don't know, off the top of my head, who his advisor is, was. But I imagine a crack detective like yourself could find that out. I'd start there. Clowning gets complicated, doesn't it? In clown, traditional, white face. What are you, a goose? A goose, she corrected. It's spelled like the month, August, with an E tacked on, but it's pronounced a goose. Yeah, if I'm investigating a clown case, I guess I'd better do some studying up on all this, I nodded, putting my notepad away and standing up. She hopped off the desk. With her height and in her boots, we stood eyeball to eyeball. Invite me out to lunch or dinner sometime, detective. She flipped another invisible switch somewhere and her whole face went nuclear. I'll probably say yes, and she turned up a palm. I might explain it all to you, how it works. I could bring charts and graphs illustrated even. Her tone became more suggestive with every word. She was at it again, trying to run me over, and I wasn't so sure that she wasn't going to. I wondered how long I should wait before taking her up on her offer. So, that's a snippet from Murder in Grease Paint by Whiskey Leavens. I hope you'll check it out. It's a lot of fun, and um, see you next time on Bedtime Noir.